What's up, guys? My name is Anthony, and today we've got two major Cardano announcements for you that could help extend the 2020 ADA bull run. It was only six days ago that I released this video with the question, when mainnet in the thumbnail, because that's been the number one question on the minds of those in the Cardano community. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know surrounding the official launch date of the Shelly mainnet, show you when and where to purchase your ADA for 50% off, believe it or not, and give you my technical analysis on the ADA digital asset and explain where I think we might hit the resistance. In other words, where the upside might be in the current run that we're in. But before we get started, I just want to thank all our new and returning subscribers for your support and explain what we do here for our first time viewers. CryptoRide exists to help you responsibly navigate the unpredictable world of cryptocurrency through news videos, technical analysis videos, and cryptocurrency project review videos. So if you're passionate about incorporating cryptocurrency into your overall wealth building strategy, then go ahead and subscribe to our channel in the bottom right corner of your screen to stay connected. Here we go. What's up, guys? So here's the article. Charles Hoskinson reveals launch dates. We've been waiting on this for a while. We initially thought this thing would launch in like March or April. If you've been involved in Shelly since the incentivized testnet began, it's been a while. So here are the dates. And this just literally came out today. I checked the Cardano news. I had no intention of making a video today. Check the news. And I saw this and I really wanted to be one of the first guys to break this and bring this to you. So IOHK CEO Charles Hotskinson announced today the launch of Shelly, the latest update for Cardano. When he talks about this, it will be the Shelly mainnet, not the test net, which we are currently in. It will start rolling out the network between June 30th and July 7th. Okay, so he went on and he mentioned different release dates for Shelly. So this is kind of a weird thing. I just want to show you the roadmap. And this, if it sounds weird to you, I just want to remind you that this was something that's been planned all along. So look, unlike the Byron era, which began at a single point in time when the mainnet was launched, the transition to Shelly is designed to achieve a smooth, low-risk transition without service interruption. So to me, I believe that's most likely the reason for these multiple dates. But I think the most important dates we need to worry about as investors are... June 30th, we're shipping Shelly, he added, saying that if something goes wrong, it might get delayed till July 7th. So we're looking at June 30th or July 7th. Those are the two dates I think we need to be most concerned. And then it goes on to this, and I put this in red because it could be important for us, and I'm going to keep you guys updated on this on the channel. Um, if there is something for us to do, users must update by July 20th. Now, I'm not sure if that means the new Daedalus wallet, which is this green wallet down here. I downloaded mine. There is a new Daedalus wallet. Um, it might have something to do with if you're doing your staking rewards, you might have to move those over, right? So I'm not exactly sure what this is going to mean for our end, but make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll let you know. I also came across this article on Crypto Slate when I was just researching today. And basically, yeah, this is a real thing. Cardano, Crypto.com will be offering Cardano, or ADA anyway, at a 50% discount. So, but before you get too excited, it's not for everybody. Um, I'm gonna read a little bit and tell you a little bit about this. The other thing I wanted to make just a point in saying, um, I don't, you know, I'll say this, I don't really cover crypto.com on this channel a lot because truthfully I live in New York and some of the regulations um, and restrictions in New York state make it impossible for me to do so. But it is a reputable crypto company um, and I think it's going to do great things. It's a really good project. Of course, I'm not making any sort of financial recommendation or anything like that. But if you don't know much about crypto.com, that's definitely um, a site to check out in its own right. Anyway, this is not the video for that, but check this out. Cryptocurrency payment platform, Crypto.com, announced the listing of ADA on the syndicate platform. To celebrate the listing, the company said it would hold a discounted event, sale event, for $500,000 worth of ADA at 50% off, but there is a catch. So on May 27th, Crypto.com initially made the announcement of the listing on their fundraising program, which is called the syndicate. So to celebrate the listing, all Crypto.com users that have staked... CRO, the company's native cryptocurrency, will be able to participate. And the event will begin on Tuesday, June 9th. So this is coinciding not only with the listing, but in the same month as 
the Shelly Maynet is going live. So I want to talk about these this combination of factors coming together, which I think could ignite Ada and really have a continue its bull run. I'm going to get into the technicals in a minute and just show you just how well this thing has been performing because it's been a really amazing run as of late. The other thing I want to say about this, CRO tokens already staked on the crypto.com may not be used to subscribe to the A to sale. So you've got to register for crypto.com. You've got to, I guess, get some new CRO tokens and then you can stake them, I guess, if you do it now and in between June 9th, and then you could potentially take part in that. You can participate by signing up for Crypto.com and following this link. I'll put a link to this article in the description for anyone that's interested in that. And I have a funny feeling ADA is just going to be literally worth more money by then. So 50% off is really nice. But let's take a quick look at the markets. Um, it's been a really great day in crypto. Bitcoin itself is up just about 4% on the day, 9,500. And if you just look a lot of the top 10, basically everything in the top 10 is up. And there is Cardano up 15% just on the day, up 12% on the week. And if you compare that performance to that of the other coins in the top 10 here, as I scroll down, it's outperforming literally all of them. I also want to point out CRO, Crypto.com. This is number 15. This is not only a top 100, but this is a top 20 cryptocurrency by market cap right now. So again, this is a project to be aware of. Uh, I'm not going to do a project review, but there are tons of them on YouTube and you should definitely look into it. But let's take a look at the Cardano charts right now. First of all, I just want to talk about the gains that we've seen since we had the dump back on March well, I guess it was March 7th when this thing really started to dump. But from the bottom here, this is in USD, by the way. I'm not comparing it to Bitcoin. This is the dollar. But from valley to peak here, we are now up 294%. So that's how good this coin has been doing. But let's just take a look right here. So I've been watching this all day, and I'm really happy that this daily candle finally closed in the green and well above this trend line, which we're going to talk about in a second. You can also see there was a major influx of volume here, which is a beautiful thing to see. Whenever you see a big pump or a big dump, you know, when you see volume accompanying it, you know a lot of different people were involved um, and a lot of money was involved. So it gives a little bit more of weight to these moves. That's what the volume candles do. So really powerful thing here. And you can see where... You know, we're backing off a little bit, so we'll see what happens in the next couple days. But, you know, those of you that watch my Chainlink videos regularly, um, you probably are aware that I like to focus on the big picture. And I see no better time than to talk about the big picture than right now with ADA. Because check this out. From June, let's say June 25th of 2019, so almost a year ago, we've been facing this upwards resistance. We tried to break it back here in February when we hit 7.2 cents, but we didn't get it. We got thrown down. And, you know, a lot of this was because of the pandemic and the coronavirus. So who knows what would happen if that didn't happen. But now we've raced back. You talk about that V-shaped correction. You have that strong V, right? So this wasn't a double bottom. This was just kind of like a single bottom hard spike, serious reversal, and now we're coming up. I also want to show you where this purple line crosses over the yellow. This is the 50-day crossing over the 200, which is the golden cross, right? And I've noticed in cryptocurrency, when you have the golden cross, a lot of times it's bearish for the short term, but inevitably, that is a bullish chart indicator. Bitcoin's been doing the same thing. So how high can this thing go within the next week or two if the pump were to continue? You see this blue line up here. This is at 7.2 cents, 7.3. And that was the top. That was the level I mentioned here. This happened back in February. But really, there's no other resistance anywhere near this for the last three or four months. So that's a good thing. Whenever you're watching charts and you're analyzing, just for those of you guys who are interested in chart analysis... Um, you always want to look for overhead resistance when you enter a trade. So there's not too much here at the moment. There's nothing really significant, I wouldn't say, up until you get to, like, to this seven cent level. If you are, and again, I'm never making financial advice, but if you are going to try and swing trade this, 
Um, I would not expect it to get above seven cents. In fact, you might even want to try and get out and take profit a little bit before seven cents. But best case scenario and a ceiling that I think we will definitely pause. I'm not saying we can't go higher than this because you know, anything's possible in cryptocurrency, but I do think we'll hit some sort of a ceiling on this run at seven cents or 7.3 cents. Like the video, if you found value in the content, go ahead and subscribe to join our growing community. And of course, as always, I wanna remind you to never invest more than you can afford to lose in cryptocurrency or speculative investing, because it is risky, as exciting as it is. Thanks, I'll see you next time.